Hi, this is Jeff Pincus, the Diet Bully, coming to you live from Chicago. It's holiday season, and first, before I beat you up a little bit, I want to wish everybody a happy holiday season. Hanukkah's coming up, uh, then, of course, Christmas and uh, Kwanzaa, New Year's Eve. Great times, great times. And, of course, better times for you to get big and fat. Let me just tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give you one stat, because I'm not a real big stat guy, because everybody knows that so many people are overweight. 40% of you out there are going to be obese, not overweight, by 2018. That means we are losing the battle on life. Life, health. The fatter you are, the bigger chance you have to get diabetes, heart attack, stroke, cancer. You've heard it a thousand times. Well, now this is a thousand and one. I'm here to tell you that I have a PhD in being overweight. I've been heavy since I've been five years old. And now at the ripe old age of 55, Hopefully, I've got some sort of handle on it. Not a love handle, but a regular handle of doing the right things. I have found, and many of you have found, I'm sure, that when you feel better because you look better, you are better. The insanity goes away. Even for those of you out there that need to lose 50, 100 pounds, you know when you start watching what you're eating that within a week's time, the insanity kind of like disappears and you feel a whole lot better psychologically, because this is all a mind screw. And make no mistake, here's what I want to tell you. The holidays are here, so all you are feel you're on vacation. But here's what's going to happen. I believe January 1st is a Saturday, so Monday morning is the 3rd. By January 3rd, I can guarantee you, most of you out there, insanity. You make excuses for holiday parties, and you make excuses for eating heavy on Christmas and and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and all the treats in the office on the way to that big day. And then on January 3rd, so many of you are going to be making these New Year's resolutions of it's now time for me to lose some weight. Unfortunately, most of you are going to be losing that battle because your mind is in the wrong place. I'm here to help you. I really am. The reason why I call myself the Diet Bully is because I want there to be some shock attached. I want there to be some accountability. Most people out there can't do it themselves, me included. That's why I suggest that you get some help, me or somebody else. Unfortunately, we can't seem to get it under control ourselves. Otherwise, why are two-thirds of us overweight? Two-thirds of us are overweight. You don't have to be a rocket science to figure it out. You walk on the street and you see it every single day. People are getting heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. And the ones that aren't heavy are sabotaging you the most. Ah, try a little piece of cake. It won't kill you. Yes, it will. Have a little nosh. Have a little something to eat. It's good for you. It's the holidays. By the time you turn around, you're up 10 or 15 pounds. You can't get the pants on anymore. And it's January. In many cases in Chicago, it's cold, blustery. It's the longest month of the year. And you get off on the wrong foot. To get off on the right foot is you need to start doing something about it today. I'm a big advocate in life. And do think you need to be somewhat strict, but I also feel that one meal isn't going to kill you. So what I suggest is unless it's a huge meal like a Christmas or a New Year's, watch yourself. Gain a pound, gain two, stay the same. You're way ahead of the game. But most here are off to the races. Eat what's in front of you, trail trail blazing away, eating everything in sight, making excuses that it's the holiday season. But the only ones that lose, not the weight, is you. You lose by gaining weight. And let me just tell you something that you're not going to hear from a lot of other people. That's why I can help you. You won't get a promotion being fat. I got bad news for you. You're not, if you're in sales like I have been for years or was for years, you won't be half the salesperson you are because 50% of the time you're worrying about how you look. And how do you look? You look like crap. It's not attractive having three chins underneath that coat and tie and having the little air conditioning strips. You know what I'm talking about, guys, when you make the tie longer because you want to hide the air pockets that are going into your stomach. It's very unattractive. You could have the nicest car, the most beautiful home. You could have money in the bank. You could be one of the few out there that are very financially acceptable. But you will not feel 100%. Material things only make you feel good for a short amount of time. The quick fix, the new car, the big Christmas present. And 
God forbid you want to take a picture, right? Because how many fat people out there want to see their chins in a picture? None of you. That's why you heavy people shy away from the camera. It's not attractive. You know it. I know it. And everybody else knows it. And Christmas bonus time, great. You get the extra bonus and you feel like crap because you're overweight. You're not fooling anybody. You're not fooling me. You're only fooling yourself. So I can't encourage you more to start doing little things. Take the stairs. Walk from the Costco or Walmart parking lot. There's a friend of mine that gave me this great tip. He said, I park far and I run. So park far and walk, even if it's cold outside. Start to get a handle on some of these things that you need to do. Because when the first of the year starts, you're going to be in a whole lot better place to do something about it. Because all of us, me included in the past, always thought I'll do something the first of the year. Because right now I'm doing this conversation on December, no, actually November 30th. So that all used to give me the excuse to not have to worry about it in January. And if you're living, January comes awfully quick because the good times roll a whole lot faster. So start to pay attention. Get some help. If you're listening to this, you can give me a call, 847-840-9463. I have very, very, very reasonable coaching programs. And I'm talking to the guys here a little bit. Unfortunately, guys, and gals too, but mainly for, mainly for the guys, all of these weight loss companies that are on TV and advertise on the radio, they go toward the gals because women are a lot more self-conscious about losing weight. It's okay for the guys to have the little pot belly. No, it's not. Women don't like it. They might not tell you that, but they don't like it. So you don't want to be going to all these coffee clutch groups going, oh, yeah, I, I, I went to Costco and I found my you know, popcorn, 8,000 bags for six ninety nine. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear how to do it, how to get it done, and what you need to move forward. And I'm here to help you do that. But all I can tell you is you need to do it, and you'll feel so much better. Exercise is a pain. I hate doing it, but you know what? Every time you do exercise, you always feel a little bit better after you do it, right? So what I do is I don't strain myself. I don't run. I don't go crazy. I walk a half hour a day. It's no big deal. I joined a park district. I didn't spend a whole lot of money. I get there. I walk 30 minutes. Sometimes I get ambitious. I walk, walk 40 or 45 minutes. And the reason why I don't get super ambitious is because I'll burn myself out, and so will you. Everybody wants a quick fix. Wouldn't you rather lose six or eight pounds in a month than 15 one month and 15 the next month? That's all great, but by the time a third month comes, you want to kill somebody because you deprive yourself so much. And like I said earlier in the conversation, one meal's not going to kill you. It's not. Think for our sake of conversation, you should have three meals a day. Some people say four or five smaller meals. However you want to cut it up, that's fine. So let's just say you go to a Christmas party. Or you go to a wedding, or you go to somewhere that you can't, or a holiday party that's going to be for dinner. You can't control what those people are going to serve. I don't think you should eat at home before and be non sociable. I think you need to go to that party and eat. So you eat one meal. You don't have to go nuts. You eat what's in front of you. If it's steak and you're not eating red meat, have the steak, have a piece of bread. Have some fruit. Have some salad. Just don't eat a lot of dessert. Don't have a lot of cocktails. If you have one, that's fine. But be smart about it. That one meal in the week's time isn't going to mean anything. If that week you would have lost three or four pounds, you might lose two and a half or three pounds. You're still going to lose weight. Common sense is the key here. Common sense. And dieting is the only way you can go. People say, I hate being on a diet. Well, guess what? You are on a diet. You are on a diet. Whether you're eating Big Macs and fries and cake and candy and potato chips, that's a fat man's diet. Now, there's a thin man's diet, and there's a middle-of-the-road diet. Good common sense. Proteins, chicken breasts, fish, turkey, salads, vegetable, avocados, almonds, not a whole lot of dairy, if any. Very little bread. If you want grains, have some brown rice. It's common sense. Eight glasses of water. People say to me all the time, I can't drink eight glasses of water a day. It's the easiest thing in the world. In the morning, what you do is so you go to a uh, the store and you get yourself those 16-ounce bottles. And I have one with my coffee. Okay? And that's another thing. Stay away from the pop or cola or Snapple or any of that stuff because it'll kill you. The caffeine will kill you. 
So I have a couple cups of coffee a day. I shouldn't have any caffeine, but okay. Again, it's in moderation. I don't have eight or ten. If I want coffee for the rest of the day, I'll go out and get myself a decaf. I like coffee. I like the taste. So back to the water. So I have a 16-ounce gla- bottle in the morning. Then when I leave for the day, I take two with me. If I go out to lunch, I have water. I don't count those two. So I'm always having more than eight. But I have those two gla- two waters on the road, somewhere between eight and six. Is that so tough? Or nine and five or nine and three? I make sure I knock those out. Very simple. And then when I come home and I have dinner, I have one more water. That's 16 ounces, 16 ounces, 16 ounces, 16 ounces, times four, 64 ounces. And now you've had your eight glasses of water a day. And like I said, if I have lunch, I order water. Maybe after dinner, if I want a little more water, I'm drinking easily eight to 10 glasses of water a day, especially exercising. You have one before you leave. You walk yourself. You do some walking. You walk with you. You walk around with a bottle is what I do. So maybe you knock out two before lunch, a couple after lunch. You're done for the day, and maybe you want a dinner. It's very simple if you put it in the proper perspective. These are just common sense tips, but here's the thing. You're going to feel like a million bucks, and you're going to look good, and you're going to feel good, and if you're single, you're going to attract the opposite sex because I don't care what anyone says. Nobody likes a fat person. Fat people don't like fat people, okay? You don't like fat people. I don't like fat people. Has anybody ever said to you, hey, it looks like you're gaining a few chins there, Fred? Of course not. But as soon as you lose 5 or 10 pounds and it's somewhat noticeable, people are the first at the office to say, hey, you're looking pretty good. You look like you lost a few pounds. You look great. People are dying to give you a compliment when you look good. goes to show you, everybody is watching. Every single person. But the main person is you. So I encourage you to watch yourself during the holidays. Start to make some changes so when January rolls around, you're ready to rock and roll. This is Diet Bully, Jeff Pincus. Hope I've helped you, and I hope you have a great, happy holiday season. And for all of us here, Diet Bully and Associates, I wish you the best. So long, everybody.